Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today we have some dump and go crock pot meals where I will share four easy and convenient meal ideas that you can just throw in your crock pot for you and your family. Life is hectic enough right now with the quarantine so hopefully these ideas will take a little stress off of having to make dinner and the best part is they are all three ingredients or less. Let's go ahead and hop into the first one. Also feel free to take a screenshot for any recipes you might want to try to save for later. I will have pop-ups before every recipe. All right, so the first one, we're gonna make some slow cooker barbecue chicken, and it really could not get any easier. You're just gonna need about six to eight drumsticks and your favorite barbecue sauce. All right, so you're just gonna place your drumsticks into your slow cooker and go ahead and pour your barbecue sauce on top. And I'm gonna cook this on high for four hours. If you need it to go longer, you can just set it on low for about six to eight. And how you serve this up is completely up to you. We just had it with some stewed squash and onion and also a roll. This next one is a slow cooker tortellini. It's really easy and delicious and it's also kid friendly. So you're just gonna need one pound of ground beef cooked and drained. And as I've said before in my previous dump and go videos, to make this more jump and go, I encourage you to have some ground beef already browned and in your freezer so that you can just pull it out and dump it into your crock pot on the day that you wanna make these meals. You'll also need one 19 ounce bag of frozen tortellini and a jar of pasta sauce. And one extra ingredient that is optional is cheese for the top, although you do not have to have cheese. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is pour in my ground beef and go ahead and pour my pasta sauce in with that. And I'm gonna give it a stir to combine the meat with the sauce. All right, and then we're gonna pour in the tortellini, give it a stir, place the lid on, and we're gonna let this go on high for two hours. Or if you need it to go longer, you can just do it on low for about four hours. And that's just a little bit of extra sauce from the jar. All right, so this is what it is looking like. You could go ahead and eat it like it is, but I decided to top it with some cheese. And like I said, that is totally optional. You don't have to do this part. Um, we just had some cheese in the refrigerator that I'm gonna shred up. You can use pre-shredded if you want to. We just really like to shred our own. The quality is a lot better. So I'm just gonna take and place that on top and place the lid back on for just about 10 more minutes and let that cheese melt down. And then to go with these, we had some of these hamburger buns in the freezer. So we took those out and I just took and spread a little bit of butter on each slice, sprinkled a little bit of garlic powder, and then put it in the air fryer for about five to 10 minutes until it was toasty.
and that is it it was really easy to do and the kids really enjoyed it and like I said that cheese is totally optional because the tortellini does have cheese inside of it so you could totally skip the whole cheese part on top all right, this next one is a slow cooker chicken and gravy, and we ate it over a baked potato. This was a really, really good recipe. I highly recommend it. It had a lot of flavor to it, and it smelled really good when it was cooking all day. So all you're gonna need, and you can adjust this to your family size, just keep that in mind for any of these recipes. So you're gonna need one boneless, skinless chicken breast, one can of cream of chicken, and one packet of Lipton onion soup mix. I'm gonna start and go ahead and turn my crock pot on, and I'm gonna place my chicken into the crock pot. And I have said this before, if you're gonna put frozen chicken into your crock pot, I do recommend that you cook it on high, just because if you do it on low, it may spoil before it reaches cooking temperature, if that makes any sense. So if you're gonna cook with frozen chicken, cook it on high, but you can do this on low if your chicken is already thawed. Next, I'm gonna take that cream of chicken and also the packet of Lipton onion soup mix and I'm gonna mix that together just to combine it. All right, and then we're just gonna pour that over the chicken and that's pretty much it for this one. We're just gonna place the lid on and let it go on high for about four hours. And like I said, if you're cooking with thawed out chicken, you can do this on low for about six to eight. All right, this is what it's looking like. It doesn't look very appetizing, but I promise you guys it smelled and tasted so delicious. So I'm just taking a fork and I'm shredding my chicken up really fine and just getting it stirred into the gravy. And we did our baked potatoes in the air fryer and we also did some green beans on the side. And there you have it, slow cooker, chicken and gravy. This is definitely a win and will be a new go-to recipe. All right, for the very last one, I think I've showed this one time before, we're just gonna do some salsa chicken. So all you're gonna need is one boneless, skinless chicken breast and one jar of salsa. And we only had this half of a jar, so that's what we used. So once again, we're just taking the chicken, placing it into the crock pot, and we are gonna pour the salsa right on top and I'm gonna go ahead and cook this on high for four hours. Or like I said in the previous recipe, if you're cooking with thawed chicken, you can cook it on low for six to eight. All right, so this is what it's looking like and I'm gonna go ahead and shred that up with a fork. 
We actually did not eat this the day that it was filmed, which is also the day that I'm editing this video, but we do plan to eat this on soft shell tacos tomorrow, the day that you're seeing this video. And you can also have this over chips and top it with some cheese and make like some nachos. And if you wanna make this even more flavorful, you could add in some taco seasoning. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you did. And also if you're new here, I would love if you hit that subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.